my Western World One community. Hey, check this out real quick, man. I want to send a shout out. Uh, well, two of them. Uh, one is to a member of my Western World One community, um, KC, and also to the YouTuber that has this up, uh, Conjunctive Chaos. I received a link. They asked me what I, uh, not Conjunctive Chaos, but a Western World One member asked me what I post this. Uh, but you can read it and see. And also, too, if you see notifications pop up please ignore it um, um until i learn how to shut it off <laughs> while i'm recording but look at this man i'm just gonna press play y'all let me know what y'all think man let's uh let's dialogue around this uh and i will stop it uh periodically because i don't want to just pleasurize people work right. i realized wow I, I shouldn't i had no right to do that that was not professional it was it not only was not professional it was not human about a week later Another incident occurred, and I used more force than I needed. After the guy was handcuffed, I grabbed him, I pushed him up against the wall, and I said, don't you dare say that to me again. Do you understand? And I realized this is a disease I'm starting to develop. The hunt for black people, as he calls it, is part of a racist system that he condemns today. The first thing he denounces is the quota of arrest imposed on U.S. police in many large cities. This race for numbers pushes them to stop black people for no reason. Quotas lead to arrests for no reason. Minorities have no one to call if they're wrongly arrested. The white person will call their local political committee man or person. They'll, they'll, they'll call the parents, perhaps, of a, a teenager will call the local politician. Yo, what's going on here? My child was arrested just because he didn't have his license. Why don't you just tell him to go home and get his license? And, and things like that. So the white person has more power. Black people have no connection to the people in power. So you know there's not going to be any uh, blowback on arresting a minority because they don't have any power to complain. And African Americans are not only unjustly arrested, they are not treated with the same respect as white people are. If you stop somebody from going through a light, you would say, out of your car, out of your car, show me ID. You wouldn't say that. To, to a white person, you would go up and say, may I see your driver's license, please? And blacks know that. Blacks know when you go up and say, oh, out of your car, now. And then they say, well, what did I do? Oh, don't, what did I do? Don't say that. Don't ask me why I'm stopping you. I said get out of the car. And that's right there, you first disrespect. And I, I saw that happening. Now, when he said right there, you first disrespected, he was about to say your Fourth Amendment was being disrespected because it's, it's considered a search and seizure. Now, if you run that red light, and they pull you over it's a seizure for right now because you know they're detaining you to you know actually why you ran the red light or, or or any kind of traffic infraction they are supposed to just come up to you and just ask you for it now if they go in your vehicle uh, without your consent um, anything that happens to you in court of law is automatically thrown out because of the fact of that you you know they they, they supposed to have a warrant or a probable cause to go inside your vehicle, but I'm gonna let this play a little bit. And blacks know it's happening, they know it's not happening to white people, so automatically they start resenting the police just from little th command, verbal commands, let alone the physicality of grabbing somebody and putting them in handcuffs while you check their ID. Unfortunately, when I would tell other officers, whoa, that's enough, that's enough, then they would think, hey, what are you? Uh, N N for the word. What are you, an N lover? Since he retired, he campaigns openly against the racist behavior of the police. The former officer has even made a very explicit sign. I'm asking police, end open season. Stop shooting black men, just like they're some kind of animal. They wouldn't do that with a white? No. Why? They have, uh, they devalue the black man. The black man is, well, let's put it this way, uh, in driving down a street in Philadelphia on a hot Friday night in August, I was with a partner, and uh, of course, hot August night in Philadelphia, it's, a lot of these people don't have air conditioning, and, and, and they're, they're outside. So there's a lot of people outside on the steps in the street, and as we're riding down, my partner says, 
Wow, the roaches are out tonight. <laughs>